It's the most wonderful time of year in this historic city. From lighting displays to holiday markets, there's no place like the hub for the holidays. In its eighth year, the SOA Winter Festival is a more recent addition to holiday activities in and around the city. Specialty foods, arts and crafts from the region's best small businesses can all be found under one roof at the historic SOA Power Station. Lace up your skates and channel your inner Bobby Orr on Frog Pond in Boston Common. If you're new to skating, there's no need to worry. The Skating Club of Boston offers private and group lessons throughout the week. Do you like apples? How about some applesauce and latkes from the pop-up Maccabee Bar? Across the Charles River, Noir Bar will be transformed into a Hanukkah wonderland with special decor, themed cocktails, and traditional bites. To complete your holiday swing through one of America's oldest cities, be sure to stop by TD Garden. After watching your favorite team be crushed by the Celtics or Bruins, you might find yourself asking, now who is helping us to win the holidays? The answer can be found in our beautiful Causeway office which is home to over 500 hardworking V-teamers. Along with being a work-forward engagement hub, this office hosts the Verizon Innovation Lab, showcasing the possibilities of emerging technologies over 5G-connected infrastructure, AI and robotic solutions, and workforce training applications. Not to mention that Boston One Fiber was the original large-scale build, utilizing the One Fiber approach. The build team has placed over 14 miles of feeder cable throughout the city, bringing Fios to over 245,000 people, while serving over 500 5G small cells and over 60 macro sites. Now grab an eclair and hang your stockings with care, because Up to Speed is proud to welcome you to Boston, Massachusetts. Being here in the Boston office, I mean, come on, that video was super cool. Always love to be able to go on tour and visit all of you. This is my second time technically in the Boston office, but first time personally doing Up to Speed Live. So I'm super happy to be here with all of you. For folks who are watching online and you've been watching Up to Speed and we've been teasing where we're going, if you guess Boston, you are correct. This is home to about over 650 V-teamers. So we're gonna talk to some of you soon, so stay on your toes. We're gonna, we're gonna get in the audience and get to know some of you. But before we do that, let's get down to business a little bit, all right? So I'm gonna ask Hans to come and join me. Hello, Hans. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hey. It's great to be in Boston. It uh, is. Yeah, it's I great know. to be here. We have been all the morning here, and we actually came yesterday. It's a, both great weather, but also fantastic V-team crowd here. It's just amazing. I thought New Jersey was cold. I'm freezing. I don't know about you, but... I'm Swedish. I'm... Okay, that... You, you've got... Feels good to be here. <laughs> hence, hence my sweater today. Yeah, hence your sweater. Well, a lot of really fun sweaters in the audience. I know you all have your uh, holiday party, so we've got a lot of fun sweaters there, but we'll get to that in a second. Hans, let's talk about any business updates that you want to share for Maybe I start with, uh, uh, we had some uh, announcements uh, uh, Wednesday, time is flying, uh, on some leadership changes uh, after a, a, a very deep uh, review and, and process, we have found a new chief marketing officer. So Leslie Berland uh, will uh, uh, join us in the beginning of next year. She recently came from Peloton, before that she was at Twitter and before that uh, came from American Express. Uh, long history in marketing, digital marketing, great leader. We look forward to have her. Uh, I think also the Rima looking forward to that because Rima Qureshi, our head of strategy, uh, has actually kept that position since it's been open for a while, done a fantastic job. Uh, at the same time, we did some other announcement, uh, including Rima. Uh, Rima has been here with us, uh, Qureshi, for six years, running everything from strategy, partnership, M&A. Uh, she has decided, for reasons that I cannot really understand, uh, that she wants to retire. So, uh, as a nice guy I am, I accepted it. Uh, <laughs> now, uh, all jokes aside, fantastic uh, journey in Verizon for Rima. Uh, I think that the whole company should be really happy uh, for the contribution I've done, and 
all support for her in her next steps. Uh, we had also some more announcements when we were still yeah. doing it because uh, and that was uh, sort of the way I wanted to communicate. So Jim G. Race, which is somewhere here, he, he usually hides. <laughs> He's uh, hiding back yeah, there. Yeah, he, he will not say where he is, but he's here. Uh, Jim G. Race, our head of communication. He has worked for Verizon for 37 years. Yeah. Jim is our head of communication. He, he, he wrote the credo, you should know, by hand. He was the guy writing the credo that we live after every day we come to work. He wrote that. I think it was by hand because of so many years ago. I'm not sure he had the computer. <laughs> uh, he started 9X Mobile. He is one of the he has a, one of the largest impacts on this company's culture and what we're doing every day here. So, of course, uh, a, a big uh, challenge for us to replace him over time. He also has to be retired, so as a nice guy I am, uh, I told I guess. him. So, uh, those were the things we announced uh, uh, on Wednesday, uh, important moves, but of course, I, I have all the respect for Rima and Jim uh, to take the next steps in their life. They have both worked in a long time, so, uh, but also excited that we have a new chief marketing officer that's going to continue to refresh our brand and see that we have a long time of driving our revenues and, and, and our engagement with our customers. Absolutely. Keeping the momentum going there. Yeah. All right. So let's talk a little bit about what you did earlier today. I know you met you yeah. a couple of roundtables. You met with some of our retail folks, some of our test force. They're out there making the network better every day. I know there's also an Army and Navy game coming yeah. up at, yeah, at that's Stadium a lot that they're of things getting ready happening for. in this city. No, Ooh, so what? usually when the, uh, the executive team comes out to a hub, we meet uh, different groups. We, this morning we started with the retail leaders, <clears throat> talk, uh, talking to them what's, what is going well, what's not going well. Talked, of course, a lot about my plan, mm -hmm. the new incentives we have in the stores. I think we got a good feeling what we what is working really well right now, but right. also what we can always do better. And I think uh, uh, Sampat uh, was, of course, there had a lot of good comments on how we continue to uh, be even better, how we serve our customers better, how we write offerings and all of that. So that was a really good conversation. Then we uh, pivoted in to talk to the, uh, our test force, yeah. talked about the technology in this region. Region, and actually, Boston's wireless network is really good. Uh, can always get better. But we had a long discussion all the way from the transport network for the C-band implementation we're doing here, the millimeter wave, and see uh, actually how we measure it, what we need more, what tools we need. Very rich discussion led by Joe. Uh, so I think yeah, it was really good. For us as a leadership team, it's always great to come out. And then we have had a, a longer uh, all hands here with a lot of great questions. Absolutely. And we're going to talk a little more about network later with Joe. But before we do that, Hans, you know, you talked about a little earlier, you went to the Bruins game, which was the wrong game because the Patriots won. Right, yesterday. All right. Yeah. And the Patriot fans. I'm upset because I'm a Steelers fan. Oh, but, you're a Steelers fan. You know, okay. I guess. We're in Boston, so. Yeah. But have any of you listened to the playlist for the Patriots on Run the Playlist? Anyone? Well, everybody here needs to listen to it. It's yeah. literally, I did my homework. I listened to it before I came. I listened on the plane. There was what? Jump Around. Do you know that song? Jump, jump Around. Jump, jump Around. Jump. Yeah. Anyone know that one? Yeah. All right. OK. We okay, got some okay. people. I know that one. Walk This Way, Aerosmith. Walk This Way. Any, any fans of that one? Yeah. OK, come on, Boston, this is your playlist. Well, we got to tell them about running the playlist. No, I think the playlist is, is, you know how engaged we are with NFL and sports. And this is a way to also do local activation. So yeah. every week, we launch two to four teams where they actually have put together their playlist on Apple Music. So the, the Patriots put together their best songs that they listen to when, they, when they're preparing for the game, when they come out on the field. So they have prepared them. And then we, of course, we have soon, we have not released all teams yet. I think we are a little bit more than half through. Uh, and you can get, go into the, if you have Apple Music, you just go into Verizon Run the Playlist, uh, and then you find the different. So I, when I'm out running, I listen, and of course I listen to the Patriots, so that, that, that's my way to <laughs> listen into what they are listening Why? to, really be pumped up. And yesterday we were pumped up because they won yesterday, and they haven't done that for quite a while. <laughs> Ooh, shots Ooh. fired. Hey, was, no, it was a good, it was a good comment. Here in Boston, it was a great comment. We'll see about May, that. Maybe not for the Steelers, but that's fine. Yeah, that's okay. That's all right. 
All right, Hans. Well, I think the next time I'll see you will be kickoff, right? Yeah, there will be a kickoff early in the year. And um, I, I just want to end up saying that uh, what we said when we spoke of the third quarter, we, we're going to win this holiday season. Mm -hmm. And you see how much things Sam and his team is putting into the market, how much Kyle is doing uh, for his customers. We're going to win this season. We have a fantastic offering on the... Uh, from the my plan we just came out on Monday or Tuesday with this Netflix together with max for 10 bucks It's a 40% saving so we have so much in the market and the momentum from the third quarter as I told all the investors when I meet met them last week That's continuing for us. We had a good sort of continuation from the third quarter So guys all of you we we just need to finish this year very strong because that's we're all going to benefit from and we're going to be all proud of the team work we have done so uh, uh, i'm going to wish you a fantastic holiday season uh, but not too much because i also want you to deliver uh, uh, for the rest of the year and i know you will do because your commitments whoever you are in uh, as a v teamer your commitments are fantastic i couldn't be more proud of leading you guys for what you're doing every day to see that this company serving our customers in the right way every day so uh, that's how I want to end and, and it's a big thank you and uh, a push for the rest of the holiday season absolutely thank you so much Hans. thank you Raquel thank all you right. guys all right like you saw in the opening video you cannot mention Boston without talking about our network so let's welcome someone who knows our networks very well, president of Global Networks and Technology, Joe Russo. Thank Hello, you. Joe. What's up, Raquel? Hey, Joe. How are we doing? I'm doing well. How Pretty are you? Pretty good to be in Boston, I think. That's yeah. for sure. Absolutely. To us about our network. Anything you want to share there? Sure. I, I, you know, we have a lot to share. Number one, up here in Boston, it's a great place to talk about the network because we have a, a one, two, three punch up here mm -hmm. with our fiber network, as you saw in the opening video, our Fios product uh, that is coming from that fiber build that we did so many years ago here in Boston, uh, our wireless network, which I'll talk about as well, and a fixed wireless access to complement the broadband in this area. So that, that's a great place for our customers to be, to really take advantage of the capabilities that the network team is building up here. Uh, I'll start with Fios first. Um, we're on track this year to add about 500,000 new Fios customers to our footprint. Uh, so more than half a million new people can get access to Fios. Um, and they're rocking it up here in Boston. I was here a few weeks ago and you know, we were partnering with the sales teams at some of the multi-dwelling units around where we were holding you know, kind of coffee events in the morning and we had the sales team and our field technicians working together doing installs same day, you know, signing people up. I love to see the partnership. Um, and you know, we don't talk about it enough, but in our footprint where we have Fios, we have absolutely world-class technicians that make sure that that Fios install goes smooth and if anything breaks, they're here to fix it. Uh, and that's a competitive advantage for us. It is an unbelievable competitive advantage and it's why our NPS is higher than any other broadband supp supplier in the market. And when I say higher, I, they're negative mostly mm. and we're 40 plus in, in NPS, oh. right? And it's not only the centers and the FSC, et cetera, but it's those field technicians. So uh, broadband, uh, you can't have a better choice than Fios, and, and we have tons of it here, here in Boston. Um, as I shift to wireless a little bit, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> we met with the team this morning, tons of work going on across the country. And the way I wanted to describe that to everybody is, you know, we've been on this journey to advance the network with 5G. We've put tons of capability in the network and in the hands of our customers. Um, but all of the carriers have seen since really 2020 as that has happened that, you know, the number of complaints, I would use it, has risen. Um, and we've seen it too. We talked that for, I think it's now 16 years running, we win JD Powers in the wireless space. Um, and we continue to do that. We did it in the first half of this year, and we just won it in the second half of this year as well. Um, but since 2020, all of the carriers, even though we have the lowest number of complaints, we have seen that risen over quarter over quarter, half over half, mm -hmm. except in the second half of this year, 
the Verizon number of complaints per customers as reported by JD Power, although way lower than our competition, was also better for the first time since 2020. Great. And I share that, by the way, I think you should applaud that for the team. I, I share that with you because we are always out there trying to make the best network even better. And putting new technology in, in the network, it's not an easy thing. The test force, I, I wore my gear today because they are out there every single day optimizing all this new technology. And to see the inflection point happen at the middle part of this year, where now we're really getting to a place where the performance that we're providing to our customers is even better than it was in the kind of stable 4G environment, is a great inflection point. It's one that we got to build on, and I hope all of us feel the momentum that's happening around the business that starts with this network that we build, and then all of the VBG and VCG folks that, that use it to sell. Uh, we have so much momentum going on in, in the space. So I'm really proud of the, the network team and all the capabilities and capacity they're putting out in the network, and we're seeing it in the results, and that is phenomenal. Awesome. Thanks. That's super exciting, Joe. And you know, you're welcome anytime on Up to Speed to give us a network. Yeah, you know, I think it's a good thing. Uh, you know, us yeah. network guys, we tend to not be uh, front and center on camera. But more and more next year, I hope to bring my team to explain all the great things that we're putting out there. You know, this is the foundation of, of the product, uh, the yeah. network. So we want to make sure that all of you understand what we're doing and the, and the great uh, capabilities we're putting in the hands of our customers. Absolutely. So I'll see you next year. You will. All right. I'll Thanks. See you then. Now I think it's time for some fun. I'm scanning the room here. I said earlier I wanted to get to know some of you all, right? So I'm going to get my microphone. Don't be scared or don't be shy, more so. Let's see. I heard there was a lot of rivalries here. And I need to get the lay of the land because I'm still learning. There's like a lot of Dunkins, but then there's a lot of Starbucks. I'm like, I don't know. There's a lot of Moderns fans, but also a lot of Mike fans. So I'm like, hmm, let's see what this crowd thinks. All right, let's see. You have a name tag, so you are ready to go. I'm going to go to you. <laughs> Richard is your name, but it, why don't you introduce yourself and tell us what team you're on. Let's start with you. Thank you. Um, and just welcome everyone to our Boston hub, uh, our leadership, and we're very grateful to be here. Uh, Richard Scott, I serve in the network security group under Wes Sabat, and um, I'm on floor 18 here. This is my okay. also home office. Um, and what was the other part of your question? Was it the... Uh... Oh, well, I'm going to ask you now. Ah. <laughs> Do you like Duncan or Starbucks better? So if the question is just for me individually, Duncan. Okay. It's uh, up to my wife. Okay, that got some, got some claps. Uh, but if it's up to my wife and my daughter, start. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. I was, see, I'm a Starbucks fan. I'm Starbucks oh. girly, as they call it. Okay, and why do you enjoy coming into the Boston office? What's so fun about being in the office here? I think what we're doing here right now today is, mm -hmm. I think, the epitome of coming into a hub office. Just the energy is palpable in the room seeing all the faces, it's humbling as well to know how much energy and how much experience and knowledge is here. Um, and all we have to do is reach out. I met Sanjay for the first time oh, nice. today, and, and he and I are in the same office. I had no idea. All right. Um, and it's great, a great opportunity, so thank you for having us. That's awesome. Nice to meet you, Sanjay. Nice to meet you. See, you guys are buddies. I knew, I knew to come right over here to Richard. He's had, he was ready. All right. Let's see if we can get someone else. I'm liking this crowd over here because they have the fun sweaters. And we also have someone here right on the end who's got the holiday colors on. Tell us your name, man, and what team you work on. Uh, Amanda De Palma. I work on Craig's team under uh, Dan Girola and Finance Op. I support our global operations support for our collections fraud organization across the country. All right. Now to the controversial question. Moderns, I don't even, is it moderns or modern? It's modern, but you don't need to worry about it because oh. Mike's is definitely better. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, well, I didn't even have to finish the question. All right, does everyone agree with that? Yeah, yeah I heard that Mike's is for the tourists, though. Uh, you know, I, those of us that have lived here, 
it's because the tourists have embraced what the Bostonians did. Okay, that makes sense, that makes sense. All right, last question for you. How do you feel about working in the Boston office? What brings you here? I absolutely love the Boston office. I started in Boston on High Street, worked over to Franklin, to Bowdoin. For those of you that know Bowdoin, know that we are now in the palace here um, in our new hub location, and I love the energy. More importantly, when you step outside of the building, you can just feel the energy from the street right through, and I think the more and more we all come in and embrace it, I think it's a great way to bring in new talent as well. I mean, amazing colleges and universities. This Boston's the place to be. Awesome. All right. Thank well, thank you. you so much. All right. <laughs> Let me not topple over our situation up here. All right. Thank you, everyone, for helping me understand a little bit more about Boston and the culture here. But let's talk a little more about the hub specifically. I do want to talk to someone who works very closely with all of the engagement initiatives here. She's a volunteer champion. Let's bring up Heather McSween. Let's welcome Heather. Hi, Heather. Hello. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Tell us a little more about yourself. What team do you work on? Um, well, I'm in Verizon Business Group. I work for Massimo Pacelli. I lead his engagement efforts for employees, um, and part of which includes a volunteer council. And here in Boston, I'm part of the Engagement Hub Council under Tom Colatosti. And in that role, I am responsible for volunteer events. Awesome. I know there's a lot of volunteer events that we're having later today. We're going to have a holiday party that I can't wait to go to. Tell us more about that and what engagement looks like here in Boston. Um, well, engagement in Boston, there's always something happening here. This building is absolutely beautiful. We're so lucky to work here. Um, the council, we put on events for networking, career uh, connections for people. There's always a volunteerism component. Um, just today, we're having a holiday party downstairs on 22, and you can notice from some of the folks in the audience that we have, an, uh, I'll say, a sweater contest. <laughs> Not an ugly sweater contest, but uh, that's, that's a nice for way debate. To put it. Um, we also have some nonprofits downstairs. As part of meet and greet, we have some local nonprofits and some strategic partners and a couple of volunteer events. So I hope everyone comes downstairs. All right, I'm looking forward to it. Thanks so much, Heather, You're for welcome. all your work you. Thank you. All right. Well, since we do have a holiday party to get to, I just want to thank you all again for having me here for Up to Speed. Thank you, V Team, for tuning in. We'll have to see where our next stop will be. But before we go, you know, I always ask this, you know, it's coming. I would love to know if you all want to sign off with me. You know the, how it goes, right? I'm going to say until next time, and then you'll say the rest. You got it? All right. So I'm going to look into this camera. I'm going to stand here, and we'll, we'll do it together, all right? Until next time. You're up to speed.